Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to test the pH and the ORP of a whole bunch of the waters. Now there's literally hundreds of bottles of water uh, and various things out on the market, but we just have just a wide assortment of a bunch of the different drinks that are available on all these different bottles of water. Some expensive brands, uh, some not so expensive brands, uh, spring waters, filtered waters. We're just going to test them just all, all, all at the same time and see what happens. So let's go ahead and get started with some of these. First we're going to go with the Fiji. Kirkland brand here, which of very popular water. Evian. Boss. Some crystal spring water. Penta. Naturally preferred spring water. And we've got crystal clear water with peach flavor and some carbonation. So we'll get the ORP meter here set up. We'll go ahead and get our clean water so we can neutralize between each. And let's go ahead, we'll get that clean. Let's go ahead and see what Fiji is. Fiji has a positive 212 and rising ORP. Costco brand has a 187, 188. Go to Evian. Evian has a positive 200 and a little bit more. Voss. It's a positive 180 and rising. Crystal spring water. Positive 195. Looks like it's going to go just over 200. Now we've got Pinta. There. What's Pinta at? Looks like 188, 200 and some, and still rising. There we go. Naturally, spring water is a positive 209. And last but not least, crystal clear has a positive, of course, the carbonation isn't helping, a positive 270, 280, and then some. So let's just let that sit in our clean water here for a moment. And let's go back and let's test the pH of each of these drinks. Now remember, we're looking for purple. Oops. Try to get four drops in each of these. Oh, four. Get these all stirred up. Got quite an arrange here. Now what you notice is that spring water is always better than any type of reverse osmosis, any type of filtering. They still filter spring waters and depending on if it's a filtered spring water, you're going to see it be uh, much more acidic. I know Penta is a very expensive bottled water and it's very acidic, but you've got here an inexpensive brand of spring water that of course is uh, just past neutral. And of course, a very acidic drink right over here. Uh, you notice that the Costco brand, it looks like, has about the best pH out of all these first ones that we've tested here. But the ORPs, all of them were in the positive range. And like we said, we're looking for that negative ORP. So go ahead and set these all over here. And 
And like I said before, there are, there are hundreds and hundreds of bottles of water on the market. Hundreds of them. We're just going to move these right to the front and we'll test these. Get some new cups laid out here. Even got some vodka here that we'll test out. We'll see how the vodka tests just to see. And we'll get started here. Now this is Sam's Choice. That would be Walmart. Very popular bottled water. Widely accessible. We got some new Amsterdam vodka. Another spring water. Deer Park. Another spring water. You know, it's kind of fun looking at all these different bottles of water out on the market because you have quite a variety when you go into a store to decide what to buy. But it'll be good to know which bottled waters are the best. You know, I don't try to drink any bottled water today. It's certainly not good for the environment. And you just really don't know what you're getting just because it's in some nice fancy looking bottle. But today we're going to be able to tell just what is in these waters. Now here's another very popular water today, smart water. So we'll see how the smart water tests, see if it's very smart. Little Schweppes. Okay. We'll just back this up, get the ORP meter to the other side. And we'll do this again. Let's see, get it turned on. Let's see how Sam's Walmart water is going to do here. Now actually that's got a pretty good reading. We're at about 112, 113 and compared to some of the ones we looked at, uh, that's pretty good. I'm sure Walmart would be happy to know that. We'll put this down into the uh, vodka and wow, look at that. Vodka has 159. It looks like it's better to drink vodka than it is most of these bottles of water. I'm sure there'll be some happy people to find out about that. Here we go. Let's test this next water. We have a positive 153, 156, 160. It looks like it's going to climb into the 170s. So that's about the same as everybody else. Let's test out Deer Park. Deer Park is a positive 160, 159. Looks like it's coming down a little bit there. Uh, about a 158. Let's check out this one. And it looks like we've got about a positive 189 and it's continuing to go. Looks like it's going to top at 200. That's a nice pretty bottle. Let's see what we've got here. This looks like a positive 158, 175. I think you're getting the point that most of these bottles of water here are pretty much, they don't have any oxidation reduction potential that's certainly good for us. Here's this smart water. Now this is where we're gonna see how smart it is. It looks like it's smart to the tune of about a positive 180 on the ORP scale. So no antioxidant property in the smart water. And lastly, we'll get in here to the Schweppes and it looks like we've got a positive 222, 225 and climbing. So none of those got down into the zero range and certainly none of them went negative like the Kangen water. Let's go ahead though and we will put four drops into each of these. Now remember, we're looking for purple. Blue is neutral. Actually, and then green gets all the way neutral. If it goes a little bit blue-green, there's four. Let's see what we've got on the table here. It looks as though only one. And we'll get that's the vodka. It looks like only one of these is actually going to be a little above neutral. Looks like Sam's Choice is about, ah, it's a little under neutral. The Deer Park looks like it's about neutral, around seven. Some of these other waters here, again, very acidic. And 
and very acidic. The smart water looks like it's trying to get pretty close to neutral. I think what we've learned here today is that we've learned that most of the, of the bottles of water that you go to the store and you buy, as you can tell, are pretty much acidic. There's a few here and it's good to know for the most part anytime you grab a spring water uh, you're going to be okay but certainly you don't want to drink that water on a regular basis. You want the properties that the Kangen water has uh, with the microclustering, with the high alkalinity and the high uh, negative ORP number. That's about the most important thing you want to look for and certainly you want to just get that water directly from a machine. Uh, we don't want to store it into the bottles. As Dr. Carpenter said, when water sits in a bottle it loses its hexagonal properties and it turns into a pentagonal water and it just is a water that our bodies are not able to utilize uh, as it was intended. So that's, uh, that's what we've learned. I think uh, bottom line is the best water that we should be drinking without a doubt, without a doubt, is the Kangen water 9.5. I wonder, I, you know, I wanted to try this. Let's see if we can actually get these waters to come back up to some type of alkalinity by adding our water to them. Oh, we can get the smart water. Oh, look at that. Vodka doesn't look like it's that bad. You know, most of these waters we can certainly change, but as you can tell, some of them are kind of going back a little bit. This one's actually going more back towards acidic. A few of them have stayed, but you can see how powerful Kangen water is, and this is what you need to be putting into your body.